people tell you to lose weight regardless. Right. Like, mm. I've been told to lose weight when I was, you know, like a 14, 16, yeah. where I could fit into the sample correctly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, they were like, no, you're getting too big. I'm like, but I fit into the clothing right. that, you- that I am selling. From ASOS's amazing bikini campaign to Rihanna still literally stepping on our necks with this ultra-inclusive, body-positive, Savage Fenty lingerie line, we're asking the question, is 2018 finally the year we can get rid of the term plus size? Well, I have my Team Vogue family joining us today, but also the stunning Barbie Ferreira. Hello there. (laughs) Hi, Hi, thank you for having me. Of course, but I gotta ask the question, can we get rid of the term? Um... Yes and no. So I'm on the fence for this because I always thought that plus size has, it wasn't a term that was negative. It wasn't something that I felt was like something that was making me different or making me feel like I was lesser than. Mm-hmm. And I found a community through it. And like obviously through modeling and meeting people and meeting mm-hmm. amazing girls who like I can relate to and hearing mm-hmm. their stories. But at the same time as a model, it's like if I'm a plus size model, I can't do certain things. Mm-hmm. I can't do the editorials, I can't do this. Or it's just like, oh, if we're doing it, we're gonna have one plus size model, like right. one token. Yeah. Like to yeah. make a moment. Yeah, yeah, to make a moment. Like we're we're really inclusive, yeah. so we have one fatty and um, <laughs> everyone else is yeah. you know, normal. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. But that's why I think the question is being raised, because it's like, if we get rid of the term, then wouldn't that make kind of everything normalized? When we stigmatize the word plus size or make it seem like fat, big, curvy, everything is a bad thing, Mm -hmm. um, that's when you start feeling like those words can attack you and those words can Mm -hmm. make you feel worse. Because for me, I totally come, I call myself a fat model all day because that's like, it's like funny to me. Like my friends all call each other, like we're all like fatties. I mean, no skinny people are telling me I'm a fatty, that's pretty damn sure. But But like as a group, we're just like the fat, the fat agenda. But you guys like took the power back from the word. Yeah, we're pushing the fat agenda. Yeah. That's literally it. Um, and to, I think that there's been so much work done, like just being more inclusive, gender, sexuality, religion, mm-hmm. able-bodied. Why is it still this like really difficult relationship between fashion and size? I mean, I, th- I think it's really interesting because I think you see a push for Hollywood to be more inclusive, but mm-hmm. even when you take a look at those efforts, you'll see, yeah, we're calling people brave and stuff like that, but even when you're casting those people, sometimes they're only, um, quote unquote plus size in the traditional sense. Right, they still have exactly. like an hourglass figure, right, like, you exactly. know, it's even that becomes kind of cookie cutter. Yeah. And yeah, what's acceptable. Plus size. If we're being honest about the numbers, sixty seven percent of American women are to be considered plus size because exactly. they're size fourteen to sixteen. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. And I think there's a big uh, it's like Clothing companies are choosing not to sell their clothes to more than half the people in the world, which I think is not financially smart. <laughs> right. But how can they get away with it, though? Right? It's yeah. just funny how you are catering this huge, multi-billion dollar company to less than half the people. Mm-hmm. And everyone wears clothes. Everyone has the right to wear clothing. It's like, it's not something, like, luxurious. It's not, like, you know, it's not a diamond necklace. It's not something that someone can got, can buy mm-hmm. as, like, an accessory right. or something. Right. It's we wear clothing. We need them. We need them. So, yeah. I, I would hope we would <laughs> in certain exactly. situations. And it makes it so difficult for people to find it. And I remember going to the mall and, like, you know, either I couldn't find anything in any store or mm-hmm. I would have to go to, like, a Lane Bryant or a yeah. place that does carry mm-hmm. plus size. And that's very isolating. And I think, though, designers like Christian Siriano and bloggers turned mega entrepreneurs like Gabby Fresh are really, like, just revolutionizing and disrupting the fashion market. And I hope that, like, other designers who haven't maybe become inspired. And also it's like fatness and habits, different bodies, different people, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we only see one kind. We exactly. see one kind, and it's typically someone like me, where I'm like white, I have a hourglass figure, I'm very palatable. Someone yeah. that mm-hmm. is not, it's like someone who like straight men can still be like, oh, she's fat, but I'll still have sex with her. You yeah, know? It's, like, exactly. it's not exactly. like reflecting all women. So and then you me. never see like those other inter- intersections. So you won't see a fast person who's also disabled. disabled you won't see or trans, fat, per- nothing, fat yeah. people with yeah. like dark skin, up obviously like fat people who are trans like it's so yeah yeah and i think when we take it back to hollywood amy schumer was on the cover of vanity fair right to your point of being brave like people were like this is such a brave thing and for the most part she's a traditional looking american woman mm-hmm. there's nothing brave about her it's a size eight. yeah oh god i mean it's brave of her to want to pose nude period yeah. but not because of the size she is yeah like, right you know if a kate moss did it and she has throughout her career we weren't calling her brave she's like, like that's exactly. hot yeah. yeah you know exactly. well i mean every time i'm like anywhere near like unclothed or even wearing an outfit where like it's tight to my body mm-hmm. people are like you're so courageous 
to your point, just about being conscious of the things you're wearing and like how people are reacting to it, uh, Roxane Gay, who's a phenomenal writer, essayist, mm -hmm. author, she said, I am hyper conscious of how much space I take up. As a woman, as a fat woman, I am not supposed to take up space. And yet, as a feminist, I am encouraged to believe that I can take up space. Mm -hmm. I live in a contradictory space. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just so deep for the, the messages and the narratives we try to push here at Teen Vogue because we do empower young girls to just simply be themselves, but when mm -hmm. they step outside of our website, instead of our social platforms, right. the world's telling them to shrink themselves. Yeah. Especially when not many people around us look like that. It's, and we ain't hating, y'all look cute. No, very cute. Very, it's very cute. gorgeous, it's just like there's no other yeah. beauty standards yeah. right. out there. Being a model, going on castings, do you only go to plus size ones or like? When I started, I was like, oh, this is a different ball game. <laughs> like, right. yeah. I'm wearing padding on my body to make myself look bigger. And most of the time it would only be on my hips and my butt. Why though? So I would just look like I'm like, pew, boom, oh. to fit into the clothing. And I'm like, you couldn't get a woman who is that size. Right. right. And then when you are that size, people tell you to lose weight regardless. Right. Like mm. I've been told to lose weight when I was you know, like a 14, 16, yeah. where I could fit into the sample correctly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, they were like, no, you're getting too big. I'm like, but I fit into the clothing right. that, you that I am selling. Exactly. Right. It's so interesting how when it comes to fitting into clothes or having that perfect bikini body, companies, like weight, these weight loss companies will like prey on your insecurities to try right. and make money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In a kind of like a similar way that the the fashion industry right. yeah. Yeah. Right. That, does. That goes with like the beauty industry. I mean, women consume so many things because we're told that we're like not good enough. Like I say, makeup, uh, clothes, like expensive weight loss things, weight loss things, yeah. weight, yeah. Loss things yeah. weight loss supplements, weight loss like books, weight, weight loss eggs. Yeah. <laughs> weight, yeah. yeah, yeah. And honestly, they don't do like nothing that they sell is going to be a miracle thing. Exactly. It's like these yeah. celebrity endorsements. It's like you have to be really careful because this is what you're, the the message you're sending to people. Mm -hmm. Right. This brings me actually to my problematic fave of the week in this week's edition of Your Fave is Problematic. <laughs> okay, so the Kardashians, we have to, we're talking about beauty, yeah, talking about we're it. talking about looks, <sighs> and they get on my nerves sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I think that it would be an understatement to say that they didn't have some kind of an impact on the fashion industry, totally. right? And like yeah. the beauty right, industry. Right. Um, but recently, Kim posted an Instagram. We've seen her work with Flat Tummy Tea before, but recently she specifically promoted a lollipop that was supposed mm -hmm. to be an appetizer present. I get like Weight Watchers and so I kind of, I understand the notion of wanting to, I guess, Diet, but the fact that it was an appetite suppressant, yeah. like hunger is natural, hunger is good, yeah. hunger yeah. is okay, right. it's okay, okay to be hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Barty, thank you so much for joining us, Boo. Thank Guys, you. continue the conversation using the hashtag Team Vogue Take. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Barbie, where can people find you online? You can find me at, at Barbie Knox N O X. Boom. Boom. Instagram. Boom. That's the one. Boom. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.